Okay, so the next question that we're going to break down is a very common question that is often found on acupuncture exams. It says, a rectangular flower garden has an area of 32 square feet. If the width of the garden is four feet less than the length, what is the perimeter in feet of the garden? So I'm going to start by drawing a picture because that always helps me to just visualize the problem. It says that the area is 32 square feet. So in my head, I'm aut automatically going to remember that area of a rectangle is length times the width. So if we take the two measurements for the length, multiply it by the width, it should equal 32. So it's telling us that the width is four feet less than the length. And it doesn't tell us what the length is. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put X for the length. And then it says four feet less than the length is the width. So less means you're subtracting. So it would be X minus four. For example, if the length was 10 feet, the width would be 10 minus four, which is six feet. So now we know that the length is X, is that's how we're gonna represent it. The width is X minus four. And if we multiply the two against each other, it should equal the area, which is 32. So let's go ahead and put that into writing. 32 should be equal to x times x minus 4. All right. So the reason why I'm, I wrote it with the parentheses, the multiplication problem with parentheses around it, is because it helps me to remember that I need to distribute the x, meaning I have to multiply the x times this first bit, and then I have to multiply the x by the negative 4. So let's pull this to the side, just in case it's been a while since you've been in school and you're not really familiar with how to multiply x times x. So x times x. A good thing to remember is that when you're multiplying values that have exponents, and these have an exponent of one, when you're multiplying um, values that have exponents and they have the same base, the answer is also gonna have the same base, which is x in this case. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna add the exponents. So you would add one plus one, so the answer would be x squared. So x times x is x squared. Excellent. And then we're gonna do x times negative four. So we're gonna put that over here as well, x times negative four. Now, anytime we're multiplying a number times a variable or a letter, you can just write it side by side. So x times negative four is negative four x. The reason you can write it side by side is because when two numbers or a value is ne written next to a variable, they're being multiplied. It's indicating that they're being multiplied because they're squished so tightly together. So x times negative 4 is negative 4x. So we're going to go ahead and write that, negative 4x. So now I have 32 is equal to x squared minus 4x. And so I'm looking at this and it's reminding me of a trinomial. And the reason why it's reminding me of a trinomial is because trinomials usually have different variables with different degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this 32 to the opposite side so it can look like a normal trinomial so I can figure out what X is equal to. So how to get 32 to the other side? Because this is a positive 32, in order to get it to the other side with the other two values, I need to do the opposite of what's happening now. Because the 32 is being added to do the opposite or to get it on the opposite side, I have to do the opposite, which is subtract. So I'm gonna subtract 32 from both sides. The 32s are gonna cancel each other out and we're gonna be left with x squared minus 4x minus 32. All right, so I'm gonna pause here and I know I some people are just going to click out of the video and they're going to be like, nope, this is just too hard. I'm not going to be able to answer this question anyway, so let me just give up. I'm hoping that you guys are not going to do that. I hope you're going to just stick with me because once you see me solve this, I'm breaking it down step by step because there's been a lot of students who haven't been in school in a long time. So we're just breaking it down step by step first so that you guys can see how this is done. And then at the end, I'm going to show you guys how I can just put it all together in a very simple, easy way. Okay, so now we have x squared minus 4x minus 32. And the goal here is we want to know what x is equal to because if we can figure out what x is equal to, then we know the length. 
And if we know the length, then we can figure out the width. And if we know the length and the width, then we can find out the perimeter because that's what they end up asking us. They want us to find the perimeter. So how can we figure out what X is equal to from this trinomial? Well, we can go ahead and break it into two binomials, meaning we could break it into two parentheses with two values in each of them. How do we break them down? Well, we break down the X squared. So we're gonna put X and X, very simple. Then we have to figure out two numbers that when you multiply them against each other, they equal this last value, negative 32. And I'm gonna go ahead and write in black so that you guys can clearly see that. Okay, so we're trying to find two values that when you multiply them against each other, they equal negative 32. But when you add them together, they equal the middle number. Those same numbers, when you add them together, they equal the middle number, which is negative four. Okay, so I know that eight times four is 32. So eight, and I'm gonna make it a negative eight and a positive four. And then I'm gonna try that again. So negative eight plus four, that is also equal to negative four. So I know that negative eight and four goes in the parentheses. Now, if you're, you need extra help with breaking down trinomials, please make it in a comment. Just say, Ms. Amber, that was really confusing. I'm, I'm gonna need some extra help. I don't know what you guys need help with until you tell me what you need help with. So please you make use of the comment section. I love that you guys are saying thank you. It just really makes me so happy. But at the same time, also use the comment section to tell me what you guys need so that I know what next videos to make. Okay, so again, we now have to solve for x. So we're gonna solve each side. We're gonna set each of the sides equal to zero so that we can solve for x. So again, in order to solve for x, you wanna get the x by itself. Right now, the x is not by itself. It has that negative eight by it. So we wanna get rid of the negative eight. Do you remember what we have to do if we wanna get rid of a negative? The opposite, good job. So we're gonna add eight to both sides. So the eights cancel each other out and you're left with X is equal to eight. Okay, what about the second one? So again, we wanna isolate the var variable. We wanna figure out what X is equal to. The X is not by itself right now because it's next to the positive four. So we have to get the positive four on the other side. How do you get rid of the positive four? Perfect, you minus the four, you do the opposite. Minus four from both sides, the fours cancel out. You're left with X is equal to negative four. So now we have two choices for what x is equal to. x can either be equal to eight or x can be equal to negative four. So because this is a word problem that we're solving, we have to think logically, can a length be positive eight centimeters or can it, actually in this case it's feet, can the length be positive eight feet or can a length be negative four feet? Now, I don't know about you, but I've never heard of a length being a negative number. So then it can't be x is equal to negative four. So x has to be equal to this eight. So what does this mean in terms of the problem that we're trying to solve, which is trying to figure out what the length and the width is? Well, if the length is equal to x, that means the length is equal to eight feet. And if the width is equal to x minus four, and so it was eight minus four, that means the width is four feet. So now we have the length and the width. We're gonna go back to our problem and say, what were we trying to find? We are actually trying to find the perimeter. So now that we figured out what the length and the width is, we can use that to find perimeter. Perimeter just means length plus length plus width plus width. You're just adding up all the sides. So if the length is eight plus eight plus four plus four, when you add it all together, you should get the total perimeter. So eight plus eight is 16, 16 plus four is 20, 20 plus four is 24. So our perimeter is 24 feet. So our answer is going to be A. Excellent job. Now I promised you guys that I was gonna show you this in a simpler way, or I'm gonna show you guys, say that you really struggle with solving um, a trinomial and breaking it down and figuring out what X is equal to. Is there another method? Yes, there is. You can always use guess and check.
and I'm just going to show you how you can use guess and check in the situation and you can decide what it is that you need to do. Ultimately, you guys just want to pass this test, don't you? So do what works for you. If you're really struggling with solving by trinomials, try the guess and check method. So they told us that the length is equal to x and the width is x minus 4 and the area is equal to 32 square feet. So you just need to find two numbers that when you multiply them together, they equal 32 feet. But when you, the first number, when you take it and subtract four from it, it still equals 32 feet. For example, the two numbers that multiply against each other to get 32 is eight times four equals 32. So if you take eight as the length, and eight minus four is equal to four, the length of eight and four, they work out. And so you can just know that the length is eight and the width is four just through a method of guess and check. So if you have the length and the width, eight, four, eight, four, then you can easily find the perimeter by adding eight plus eight plus four plus four. That's just another method that you can use to say, okay, I, re I really struggle with solving trinomials but I can try guessing, checking to see, okay, what is my answer going to be? Okay, you guys, you did really well. Please let me know in the comments what you guys need. Um, if you need extra practice with the AccuPlacer exam, I created an AccuPlacer workbook. You can take a look at that. It's for $12. And just so you know, if you buy either of my workbooks or if you buy my checklist, that just helps me dedicate more time to making more videos because I'm having an income from what you guys purchase. So thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks, guys.